morning friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I do on a regular summer morning. Before we start, make sure you guys have subscribed and click that bell the way you're always notified and updated for more videos like this. So, on a regular summer morning, I usually like to wake up around 9.30 to 10 a.m., which for me is the perfect time since it is too early or late and I can still get the things I want done that day. I like to allow myself to sleep in as much as I can before school starts, but when I do end up waking up, I will just take my time, I will stretch, rub my eyes, and slowly open those eyes and get up. Once I'm up, the absolute first thing I like to do is drink a few sips of my water just because it's important to stay hydrated, plus I'm usually quite thirsty once I wake up. Then I'll usually reach for my phone and check some of my socials like Instagram or Snapchat and I'll usually just go through people's stories like their photos and things like that for a couple of minutes in the morning just to really wake myself up. I know it's not the healthiest thing in the world to check your phone first thing in the morning but I can't help myself I just like to know what the rest of the world is doing in the morning. A couple minutes later, I will finally get up and start my day. By the way, do you guys like really like my pajamas? They're from La Viados and they're really cute pink butterfly summery pajamas and I'm absolutely in love with them. I always like to tie my hair up in the morning just so that it's not in the way and it's not all messy. So once I've tied it back, then I'll head to the bathroom to, you know, pee if I need to. And um, I will obviously wash my hands and I like to rinse my face with some sort of cold water to really wake myself up. And it feels so nice when you wake up. So then afterwards, I usually like to go downstairs to the kitchen and make myself some lemon water. So I'll usually grab a lemon and rinse it off a bit just cause you know, you never know where it's been. And then I'll cut it up into tiny slices and I will have that with some ice and cold water and I really enjoy having this in the morning. Sometimes I do skip it though and go straight to breakfast or sometimes I'll switch it up and, don't and I won't have lemon water but I'll have something like orange juice or any type of juice. It's really up to that day but this is what I did this morning. So once I have my lemon water or my juice or whatever that may be, I like to sit outside in my front lawn on this tiny table and I usually like to read a magazine. This morning I was reading a Hello Canada magazine, those are my favorite, or I'll read a novel that I'm reading at the moment or anything like that. Really I just like to enjoy this quiet time alone and just enjoy the weather and the nature um, while the sun is rising. It's just really peaceful and nice before you start your day. to 15 minutes later I'll head back inside and put my glass away and then I'll start to make myself some breakfast and a coffee 
So first I'll start by pouring some water in this pan thingy-majig <laughs> and then I will put that on the stove to start boiling for my coffee. So I've been really enjoying this Mocat Gold Unsweetened Cappuccino Coffee and we get them at the European store in my neighborhood, but I'm sure you can get it at any international section in the food store. But they come in these cute little packets of powder and then you pour boiling water over it and give it a stir and it's delicious. So while my water is boiling, I like to make my breakfast. So this morning I had some peanut butter and jelly toast. So I just put two pieces of bread in the grill and I got out my organic peanut butter and this really nice and yummy plum jam. And then at some point when the water is hot enough I'll pour that over and then I will finish my breakfast so I'll just spread the peanut butter and jelly over my toast and put them together and voila! It's a yummy and simple breakfast! So then I'll head upstairs to my room with my breakfast and I'll make a cute little setup here on my bed and I'll open up my laptop and get all comfy and cozy and I like to enjoy some YouTube videos as I eat my breakfast. So most likely I will watch a YouTube video that was posted that morning or last night from my favorite YouTubers and I just like to spend this time alone and have some fun and enjoy my yummy meal. I also like to check my YouTube channel in the morning to see how it's doing and how my views and subscribers are going. I just like to do a quick little checkup on probably my most recent video. Then after watching a couple YouTube videos, I'll probably head over to Netflix and watch an episode of a show that I'm watching at the moment. Right now I'm watching The 100 and I'm so far really enjoying it. Here I'm on season 3, but right now as I'm talking I'm on literally season 4. <laughs> Um, so yeah, since it's quarantine, I've been binge, binge watching a bunch of shows, and right now I'm really enjoying the 100. 100% recommend. So, around a half hour to an hour later, I will then put everything away and clean my bed, and then I'll make it. I don't know what it is about making your bed, but for some reason it makes me feel so much more productive and makes me have such a much more clear mindset for some reason. I don't know what it is about it, it might be magic, but once my bed looks nice and clean, I just feel so much better and I feel like doing a ton of things that day. So if you're a lazy person and feel like you don't want to do anything like me, just make your bed and see. Does that make a difference? Because it definitely makes a difference in my, in my world. <laughs> Anyways, after my bed is nice and clean, then I will change into some workout clothes. Oh my gosh, look at this cute transition. So 2014. <laughs> and I try to work out every other day. So this crop top is from Garage. I really like it. Pretty cute. And then these leggings are from Fabletics. Yes, <laughs> I love it. And so I try to work out every other day just to keep in shape and be healthy. And I like to use the 7 Minute Women Workout app. And I just feel like they are so nice and convenient since they're all very short workouts but are still very good because they get a sweat in you and they're still very good for you so strongly suggest that app and then after I'm done a certain workout then I will I like to do a stretch so I like to follow Anna McNulty's stretches today I did a I did this stretch right here and it was really nice and it felt really good after our workout so yeah I strongly suggest doing workouts as much as you can during the week it makes you feel so much better and it's definitely good to stay in shape and then that's me when I finish a workout. Heh. <laughs> Next. 
So then, once my workout is complete, I will go ahead and choose an outfit to wear that day. Sometimes it can just be pajamas if I want to be lazy, but most days I try to be as productive as possible, so I'll try to choose a cute outfit to wear. So today I wore these really cute white ruffled shorts from Forever 21 and this cute red tee from Guess. So then I will go into the bathroom, put on some deodorant, and do some bathroom essentials. I'll brush my teeth, and I'll do my skincare. I'm not going to show you my skincare in depth because I'm planning on doing a video very soon about that, but here is just a quick preview of how that looks like. Now you might be wondering why I'm not showering because I know a lot of people like to shower right after their workouts, but I prefer to do that at night before bed. So yeah, I just like to change right into some clean clothes and do my bathroom essentials. So once I'm done in the bathroom, I will go back into my room and have a seat on my vanity and I will do my makeup, which is probably my most favorite part of my morning. I don't know what it is about it, I just really love makeup and I'm probably not the best at it, but I just have a lot of fun doing it. I feel more confident and pretty in it and I just, I love it because I see it as art, I practice and I most likely wear this pretty much every day, but some days we all have those lazy days where we don't wear makeup. but. Uh, this is a tiny sneak peek of my everyday makeup routine, which I will do very soon, so that's why I'm not really showing the products I'm using in this video. But yeah, I don't like to wear a ton of makeup, just a bit to cover up some pimples and things, but that's what I like to do. It usually takes me around 5-10 to 10 minutes, not too long, and I just feel really pretty in it. So then once makeup is done, I will then do my hair. So here I'm just brushing it out. Today I did a half up, half down kind of look, but it's really it really verifies on the day. Sometimes it will just be a ponytail, you know. But today I was trying to be a little bit more fancy for you guys. But then after that, I will put on some jewelry like my bracelets and rings. And then I'm all set for the day. And then once I'm all dolled up, I will then write my to-do list about all the things I want to get done that day. And that, you guys, is the wrap-up of my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!